don't know what it is like lately that I'm just like I'm being drawn to paperweights, but specifically this paperweight because it's got a bird on it. Today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. All right. Well, it is Saturday here in Springfield, Ohio. Uh, we did the Springfield extravaganza yesterday. It was loads of fun. Um, today, we are here at the heart of Ohio. I am all by myself. <laughs> Dagny and Jenny have left me. They have gone to Jungle Gems, which is a massive grocery store. Um, it is an experience. Um, so they went there. I think that Dagny is filming a video um, and they're going to do like taste testing and stuff on, on Dagny's channel, Flying Pig Thrifts. Um, so they went off to do that today. Um, Kate and Alex have gone home. And um, yeah, so here I am at Heart of Ohio. And I'm going to do some shopping today. Uh, I'm going to load up on some antiques. I'm very excited. I love coming here. Um, it's a little bit tuned to pace without Andrew and Laurel like it was last time. But uh, we're going to see what we can find today uh, to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. All right. Well, I've literally just locked in the door. <laughs> and I noticed this vase here for $199. So usually everything is 10% um, off, I believe, over a certain amount. Um, probably 199 would be 10% off. But then we can make an offer. So I'm gonna make an offer on this at 199. Oh, and look at this. Ooh, I love the birdie. Um, but I love that face back there. And I've actually had mad art glass before. I got it at Crossroads Antiques in Hagerstown. Um, and I didn't pay very much for it, but um, this one obviously I'd be paying up for, but I just love how bright and colorful that is. So anyway, I'm gonna get a key for that and we're going to start shopping. Okay, what is the price on that? Oh, sorry, uh, 199. So even though I didn't show it, I ended up making an offer of $160 on that mad glass vase and they ended up accepting it. So I was pretty thrilled with that. Well, I was wandering through this booth and this caught my eye. I'm not sure what's happening here. This is Franz Bergman. Uh, any Milan copper for $95. <laughs> I think what I like about it is I think she might be wearing a witch hat. I don't know though, maybe she's also like a fairy godmother because she's holding a wand or a scepter of some sort. I don't know what's going on here, but I like her. She's 95, I think that would constitute 10% off. I might get a key and um, try to get her out of there. Um, well, I would think I'll, I will take that for 90, okay. or 10% uh, off, right? Mm -hmm. This right here with the flowers, oh, is that fire broken? No, it's not. I think I'm gonna try to get this out of here for 25. I like that. It's green glass, and then it has the flowers coming out of the lid for only 25 bucks. Great, thank you. Oh, it's one piece. I thought it was... Okay. And there's a chip. Um, yeah, I'll take it anyway. Right. That paperweight right there, um, with those facets for 55, we're probably gonna get that out of there. Yeah, that's beautiful. I will take that as well. Alright. This is really adorable. Um, but this is, this is fun. <laughs> $20. It is signed. I think it says Costa Rica. <laughs> I think I'm gonna grab that. Swirl pattern, red on yellow, paper white. Hmm. There's even some gold in there. Kind of just like the color combination of that. 27. I don't see any markings. I think I'll grab it. Without any markings even, it's a nice paperweight, so we'll, we'll pick it up. 
All right, so I just happened upon this. Uh, petite Choses. Chos? I'm sure I mispronounced it. Uh, wreath in here. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's got some age to it. What I like about this one, it has that jack-o'-lantern front and center. Um, so I might see the lady with the keys literally just walked by. <laughs> I should have flagged her down. I did not. Um, so they call it Old Brass Holiday Wreath. I did sell one of these before uh, years ago. You guys may have seen the video. I think I found it at Finders Keepers. I paid $80 for it. It's sold for 200 or 300 bucks. Um, it was a large one though. Let's see if we can get a key. Otherwise, I'll just take a picture of it. I'm gonna be walking the lady with the keys all the all the way around the Andy Mall. <laughs> but um, it's 85. It would be 10% off. It is small. Hopefully, hopefully it's worth it. Give me a minute. I'm back at 4133 with a customer. Um, all right. Yeah, I think I will take that. Do you have a number? Um, yes, S29. I kind of really love the color of this. It's uh, 50 bucks. But it has these uh, hand-painted enamel flowers, which are kind of raised to the touch. I like that peach color, so I think I'm going to take this with me. 50 plus the 10% off. All right, well, this was one of my favorite booths from last year. And I just noticed this paperweight. <laughs> I don't know what it is like lately that I'm just like a big drawn to paperweights but specifically this paperweight because it's got a bird on it so they have this orient and flume paperweight with a parrot it's a paperweight with a parrot um so I might make an offer on this I did ask and I think as she told me it was a hundred and over to make an offer um and this is obviously a hundred and over and last time we were here I did make an offer and they were willing to take offers um so maybe I'll make an offer on this guy and see where we can get with that I don't I don't know how much those would be worth but I really love that paperweight it's gorgeous um I think I can make an offer on this one it's 275 yeah I do two twenty five. Mm -hmm. um, down here, you can see there are some card pieces. We've been picking up a few of those here and there, and that one in the back is massive. That was as big as a bowling ball. Oh my goodness! I imagine. It's very very heavy and I actually thought to myself you know I wonder if they still have those pieces maybe I'll grab one this year but like just looking at them I'm thinking they're probably very very heavy check out this fish $2.95 on that it's a little bit bigger than the one we just recently sold maybe I should buy the fish as long as there's no chips or cracks and Andrew's obviously not here it's a fun sponge I think I might buy the fish. Alright, there's no chips or cracks on this guy, so we're gonna take it. And it has a Made in Italy sticker on the bottom. This one down here is really nice. I think that one might be Murano. And there's an Eckhold. Alright, there's the Eckhold sign on the bottom, 1991. Uh, I'll take that one. I don't need to make an offer. We're good. Turtle snuff bottle with lid. Not would be a lot of snuff. Well, I think I'm gonna end this video right here. We have found a lot of treasures today, but I think uh, I think we're gonna end it here and we'll pick up in a few days where we have left off. So I hope you guys join me and um, I guess I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe to us over on YouTube where we post fresh content every day.